Hi, everybody. Welcome back to uh, the latest episode of the Impact Series hosted by 4.0. Today, I'm very pleased to have Dr. Stefan Rohr with me, uh, who is the founder and co-CEO at TWICE. So, Stefan, thanks very much for jumping on with me today. Mike, good to meet you. Thanks for having me. Brilliant. Well, look, um, look let's kind of jump straight into it then Stefan so look for those people that aren't familiar with with, with, with twice um can you give us a, a kind of quick introduction into the business tell us a bit about the company also the climate issues that you're helping to address and and your solution to those uh, problems as well so yeah thanks um so the when we look currently to the market into this climate challenges right one big part of it is co2 emissions right and co2 emissions when you look into the statistics <laughs> is um, really heavily driven from mobility in the energy industry so it counts 70 75 percent of emissions come really from the energy industry and the mobility industry and we see currently a strong trend I mean, everyone needs to really like decarbonize those industries. And we see on mobility um, industry a strong trends to electric, battery electric vehicles, but also on the energy industry, a strong trend towards solar wind, which then on the other hand requires a lot of deployment of energy storages to yeah. really like cover like the fluctuation and get the flexibility in, into the grid. So in general, like one step back is we are moving into a phase where like batteries really helping to electrify the mobility industry, but also to push more renewables into the energy system, right? And um, helping to really de decarbonize massively the both industries. Sure. But on the, yeah, um, then, I mean, on the one hand side, batteries are the enabler of this transition, but then, um, and that brings me to the challenge, right? It's still the Achilles heel. So um, everyone knows that there is still a lot of challenges to be solved with batteries when it comes to batteries, right? It's like absolutely you have that um, your, your your smartphones. You know from your smartphone after two years the battery is dead and you have to replace it. Um, when it happens for cars, when the battery costs fifteen or even twenty thousand euros, then it should not happen, or you at least the battery should keep the lifetime promises the OEMs and everyone gives into the market. So battery lifetime is a big challenge still, right? Safety, right? So you don't want to see the batteries burning in like the garage. Um, in oh, your... <laughs> then yeah, on... we've all heard those, those kind of horror stories as well. Yes, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it it's happens very rarely, right? But when it happens, it's severe, but... Yeah. So it's real lifetime safety, but on the other hand, also cost, right? Electric vehicles are still compared to combustion engine we are still quite expensive i mean we are getting there <clears throat> yeah. but it took a couple of years we are getting there and it will be also way better now in the next three four five years so there's a lot of developments there but it's really also battery costs um um warranty obligations so there is um then charging speed of batteries right that makes a massive impact if um people decide for electric cars versus combustion engines, how fast can they, how far can yeah. they drive and how fast can how they far, Yeah, how convenient it is to then need to use the vehicle. Absolutely. And everything, right, like when it comes to batteries, there are still several challenges to be solved, right? And now coming back to TWICE, right? So we are providing battery analytic software for like the mobility in the energy industry. So helping really batteries um, to overcome the, those challenges I just had mentioned. And we started into this topic. Um, so we found it twice around five years back. Um, I did my PhD together with my co-founder in this area of battery analytic, battery life cycle. And we spin it off from the TU Munich uh, to build up this company really providing analytic solutions along the life cycle and across various industries, mostly mobility and energy industry. Because what we will see in the next 10 years is I always call it the battery super cycle. So this massive ramp up of batteries in all applications, right? Okay. Um, and with this massive deployment of batteries, there will be also the software market needs to follow there. 
And that is what we want to create there. And we are currently a team of around 110, 20 people, uh, raised around $75 million, uh, and really are on our way to build like this, I always call it the global champion for battery analytics. So um, really defining this category and that because, right, like getting one step back, right, in 2018, as we started, or 17, is actually like a, a lot of people were still doubting if battery electric cars is really right. like the way to go or is like more of a fuel cell. The same was on, on the energy storage side. There were not too many deployed energy storages out there in the market. And okay. so really creating like this analytic software and simulation software to helping those industries to succeed, that's that's core of it. So the, so the, kind of the market has caught up with, with twice then. So since the inception, the market has kind of come around to your way of thinking. And obviously now electric vehicles are, you know, absolutely the future. Um, yes, absolutely. So we like, I think we were a little bit in front before the wave. And now it's really like um, just... Um, just coming and just happening right now and that is also makes it very exciting but on the other hand also like when you look out there on the roads and on the streets right there's still a limited amount of electric cars out there so yeah i would say it's also like real next 10 20 years it's still a massive uh journey to transform those industries and electrify them yeah yeah well i think like you you touched on it earlier but obviously at the moment electric owning owning an electric vehicle or you know buying one is more expensive and quite considerably more expensive in some cases than the equivalent petrol diesel power car mm -hmm. um so hopefully i think as that changes across the next three to five years um so that it, you know because what obviously we shouldn't be um Owning an electric vehicle shouldn't be the kind of uh, the, the, the sole ability of someone who's, who's rich. You know, it needs to be it needs to be something that's accessible to the masses. So I think that you know, and as that you know, as that develops, obviously your technology, your analytics, they're going to play an even even bigger role. Um, you know, along that journey. Um, so are you able to, to, in terms of some of the customers, are you able to kind of give details of some of the customers, some of the kind of energy suppliers? Yeah, what, what's the kind of typical customer, typical user case? How, how, does, it all, how does it all hang together? Yeah, so, um, so in general, you're absolutely right, connecting what you have or linking what you have just said, right? So we will see now also next years, like a continuously, continuous optimization of uh, electric vehicles. So they will get down with costs. I think it's also naturally that, that the customers, like also our customers, are introducing more premium um, uh, vehicles into the market to learn yeah. about the technology, to get it paid for, and now really like um, scaling it down and getting more into the mass market. So we will see that. On the other hand, also like batteries keeps a lot of material in it. So it also needs somehow, um, let's call it like the price is more stagnated the last year, two years, because yeah. Prices for uh, for the material increase, so it will be still some um, some uh, e e exciting churn in the next couple of years. So when it comes to Twice, um, we have um, more or less two major products. One is really like on the battery simulation side. So actually, every battery engineer out there uh, which designs and engineers batteries needs to very early on in the design phase. So for example, for example, when you look at like a Porsche. Or like a Mercedes Benz or so, they yeah. need to um, to design um, in the like very early on when they build the electric vehicles and design them. They need to decide how far fast can I charge, right? What kind of okay. battery chemistry I take, um, and then always assess when I put this car into Norway, England, Germany, different temperatures, different charging, uh, different charging conditions, different driving conditions. How okay. this this impact lifetime and they can use this like called digital twin or simulation model simulation tool to make better informed design decisions in a faster okay. way. and that helps them to introduce the vehicles away faster uh, than that was there before okay the second product is as soon as they have produced the vehicles and launched them then of course, um, like batteries are complex, expensive, they degrade over time. Um, they have a lot of cell chemistries and cells in there. So there's se 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 sometimes having some kind of like safety incidents and they need a monitoring analytic solutions to always understand per vehicle, what is the remaining lifetime, 
do I have actually, do I need to anticipate any warranty risk? Uh, do I have to expect any safety incidents? Because maybe some cells I have bought from like LG, Samsung, CATL, and those okay. have some kind of safety incidents. So this monitoring data, safety health monitoring analytic system. So that's a second major use case. And yeah. we do both areas for mobility and energy industry. And in the mobility industry, it's really like the, either like the, 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 the work mostly with all German automotive car OEMs, but also other uh, players like in the bus truck market. Um, so which the, the, the people and the companies produce those vehicles, but on the other hand, also which are operating those systems. So for example, like a Nubina or Arriva or some really like operating, for example, electric buses. Yeah. Um, they also, of course, like benefited strongly to understand more about the, the asset of this, uh, what they have in their buses. Of course, of course. Okay, cool. Well, uh, thanks for kind of outlining that in terms of you know, what, what the user cases are and sort of typical customers. That's really interesting uh, for our you know, users to kind of, well, for our viewers to, to get an understanding of that. Um, and, and Stefan, it's, look, it's obviously been, it's been a very exciting journey so far uh, for Twice. Like you said, founded, you said 2008, so about five, five years ago. Um, uh, yeah, roughly 120 people in the business now already. Um, 75,000 um, US dollars, 75 million US dollars raised in funding. So look, it's been it's been quite a journey so far. But so what? But what does the future look like, Stefan? So if we were to fast forward three to five years, you know, what does the future look like for Twice? So um, yes, it's a journey. I think it's still at the beginning, right? So we really want to go through this. I call it yeah, like the battery super cycle. So because when there are just more batteries deployed in cars, buses, trucks, energy storages, there will be a way more battery simulation and <clears> software <throat> needed. So it's just like now naturally like this software market will follow. For us, the core of it is we spin it off from the TU Munich, um, but now really cover the whole European market. And since a year, we also like uh, have the first colleagues on the ground in the US. So our goal is also really like the next five years to build a global champion so really the problems we are solving they are not only limited to like europe so it's the same batteries degrade this not always but degrade the same way in the us than in europe depends on the temperature and the driving things and so on but really also helping really players across the globe of analytic software and simulation and then um really I would say in five to 10 years, have a really a, a broad portfolio of different solutions, software solutions, helping our clients more to speed up the way to the go to market or like to the market. But on the other hand, also helping them to de-risk their battery business heavily, because you can imagine now when more car companies, bus companies, but also energy storage companies deploying more and more batteries, it's also piling up, right, in terms of yeah. like kind of values in the market and they need to de-risk it um, and to really de-risk it enable health safety warranty uh, risk under control so that is actually what will also like um, drive us the next three four or five years I would say heavily. Brilliant. Well, uh, it's it's, uh, it's going to be like I say it's a journey already and it's going to be one that's going to continue to Keep you pl plenty busy, um, Stefan. So I don't look, I know you've been so busy. It's taken us a while to get this one scheduled. Um, and look, look, long may it continue. Long may the kind of growth and you know the, and 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 the rise of Twice continue. And we'll we'll kind of keep our eyes out for you to see how you're getting on in the states and 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 hopefully further afield into the rest of the world in the next five to ten years. Absolutely. Thank you. And we'll be not the last time. I expect so. Fantastic. Well, be, yeah, it'd be great to revisit it in the future to see, you know, what the development's been like and how things have changed and, you know, what else you're, yeah, what, what other products, services you've released as well. 100%. We'll do that. Fantastic. Yes. Well, look, Stefan, look, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Um, and uh, we'll speak soon. Speak soon.